Hello everybody, this right here is just a, I don't know, kind of a strange little video I'm making, kind of as like a thank you to my ex, and basically this is a teacup that she received from my mother um, quite a while back as a gift. It actually came from her mother, so it's one of those things that her and her sister, my mom and my aunt both got one of these from their mother and it's from Occupied Japan it's extremely thin extremely fragile tea and or cup and saucer set the plates a lot thicker which they usually are the cup itself is super thin and my wife was asked if she'd be willing to forego hers and you can see here how just how thin that actually is that's just a little LED flashlight shining through you can see down the plate how bright that light's shining through there. So very thin cup. Um, my ex was asked by my aunt if she'd be willing to forego the cup. And basically she wanted to give one to both her granddaughters that would come from their great grandmother. So my wife was, or I guess ex-wife um, to be, was super kind enough to um, forego the gift and give it back to me so I give it to my aunt to give to her granddaughter. So definitely um, just a super sweet thing of her to do. Um, very proud of her on that. She didn't really seem to have any concern at all about it. Um, she understood, family thing, whatever. Uh, I told her to think about it for a little while because I don't want to make like, a quick decision. Um, gave her, I don't know, it's been about a month or two. Asked her for it yesterday. She graciously packed it up, wrapped it up very nicely for me, and dropped, and actually I guess left in the truck for me to pick up. So definitely just wanted to kind of show everybody, I've always loved this teacup myself. It's got a great bird on there, beautiful, you know, decoration around it. Um, unfortunately, it's not showing up nearly the kind of detail on the camera here as I'd like it to show up, but you'll kind of get a general idea of how nice it is. The tops and stuff have a little bit of wear, but nothing major, no major chips, just some rough on the corners and stuff here on the edges but that's i think just the quality back then wasn't nearly as high just like back here in the bottom this will focus for me or not here you can see on the outside lip there's just some excess glazing and stuff there that was pretty common on these plates and stuff back in the day so definitely um excited to get this um just want to get a few pictures taken of it and that and then i'm going to drop it off to my aunt and she will then of course keep them stowed away until the girls are old enough to have an actual use for them. Uh, I'm thinking about maybe even making a wooden box to present them both in with like, you know, a little padding and maybe some velvet lining, something like that. So definitely just a neat little piece. Um, I think she said that she'd actually had found a, another like a dinner plate maybe or a dessert plate that she thought matched this set, but she doesn't know where she put it right now. And I told her if she finds another one of these cups or whatever, I'd be more than happy to buy her another one just as close to it or as like it as I can. But being how it's actually from the grandmother, from relatively more meaningful to have something like that. And she said not to worry about it. She'll try and find one later and stuff. So I got to definitely give my, um, my hat off to her and just say thank you. So that's what this is for. I just want to say thanks, Tracy. Um, the girls will greatly appreciate this, I'm sure. So anyway, that's all I've got for today. Again, thank you very much. Um, I'm happy to be able to pass this on to them. So, again, um, thanks for watching.